Hey, what's up friends? Happy Mindset Monday. I have got a word for you today. I had recently posted on my Instagram about learning from our hardships and how there are opportunities to grow and if we can be thankful for them, we can get power out of them, right? And if you're looking for more inspiration, of course you can head to the podcast, you could head to YouTube, but guys, I have a straight fire highlight on my Instagram. If you tap word or leadership, there is hundreds of powerful quotes, thoughts, inspirations on there. Screen grab them, text them to yourself, text them to your friends. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. Scroll through them. They are so good. So I was reading in John Gordon's um, Positive Team book, which I absolutely love him, read almost all of his books. I would highly recommend them. And he was giving um, a paraphrase for I don't even know what to call it short for the word loss. Learning opportunity, stay strong. Guys, we're all facing something. Pain, setback, betrayal, failure, disappointment, shame, guilt, struggles, relational struggles, financial struggles. Everybody is going through something. And this is why you guys choose to show up compassionate, empathetic, gracious, kind, forgiving, because we don't know where people are at. They may be in the middle of grieving. They may be in the middle of a financial hardship. We just don't know. We need to love well. So guys, show up. Show up and be light. Show up and be love. Show up and be truth in love. It is powerful. Kindness always wins and it is so needed. And that's not just in person. That's not just at the bank, in the grocery store, and in line to get your coffee. Yes, that matters. But guys, even in social media conversations, choose your words and your timing wisely. That's a whole nother conversation for another day. But I want to read you guys a quote from Erwin McManus, which check out his podcast. He has two. He's a pastor of Mosaic Church in LA. If you're in that area, I would definitely check it out. But he also has one called Battle Ready, which him and his son do. And I actually love their banter. Great podcast. But he says, greatness is never born from easy circumstances. We can become stronger when the world becomes harder. And I just love that because you guys, even in the book of James, yes, I am going to go Bible on you, Passion Translation, I love this. You know, in the first chapter of James, it talks about trials and our faith being tested. And I'm gonna read that in a second, but you know, there's a, a promise in here and I believe in the promises and the word of God that when we're going through things that it will produce fruit, it produces perseverance, that there is something in the testing of our faith. And maybe you are just going through a faith struggle. You don't know what you believe. You don't know what's real. You don't know what's the truth. And we've all been in those seasons of our life, questioning ourselves, questioning our decisions, questioning God. There's times things are happening. We're going, why does this happen? Or maybe something bad is happening to good people. And then we say, oh, how does that happen? And you guys, there's so many reasons. I mean, there's just the law of attraction and what you can call karma, reaping and sowing. Sometimes our bad decisions is going to lead to bad seasons. You know, if we rack up a bunch of debt, that's going to lead to, you know, some financial strain. And so what we're, we're sowing, we're going to reap. And that's with our words and with our decisions. So sometimes it's cause and effect. Sometimes it's our poor decisions. And yes, there's grace and redemption and forgiveness for or poor decisions, there still can be consequences. It's like your kids. How many times have your kids come to you? I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? And you know, they did something, maybe they mouthed off or whatever. And it's like, of course I love and forgive you. There's still a consequence, right? There's still a natural consequence for your action. Now that can turn unhealthy and people punish people with their withholding love. I'm not talking about that. That's toxic. Let's heal and change that. But what I am saying is there's still consequences for our decisions. We live in a fallen world. We have toxins everywhere. We have environmental toxins. We have toxic egos, toxic people, situations and circumstances. I am a firm believer. I will preach this every day, every video, that God is not the author of bad things. He is not the author of death and cancer. He does not give what he does not have. And so I just want to speak that out right now. Our people um, have some crazy theology that like, oh, this is my cross to bear. You know, God gave me cancer. Um, excuse me. And no goodbye. That's not the God I serve. If that's your God, that's cool but that's not my homie. So seriously, I believe in grace and truth. God is the God that can use it. He can heal it. He can transform it. He can turn a mess into a message. He can turn pain into purpose. But my God's a God of miracles. He parts red seas. He turns water into wine. Cool guy, you know? So 
I'm gonna read you guys James 1, 3 really fast out of this. I absolutely love this translation. So, for you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up power within you to endure all things. So when we're tested, there's a power that's stirred up within us. And that's looking at hard times through the lens of thankfulness. I am thankful for what I've gone through because it stirred up a power that enabled me to endure all things. That's what it says. We can endure all things. So if you're feeling weak, you're feeling like I can't, you go to this and you say, I can endure all things. Then verse four says, and then as your endurance grows even stronger, your endurance gets stronger as you go through hard stuff, guys. It's going to release perfection into every part of your being until there's nothing missing and nothing lacking. But guess what? We don't press through the hard times. There's no promise. You got to press through to get the promise. And so just speaking that over you and even... Um, in the beginning, it talks about when we're facing nothing but difficulty, see it as an opportunity to experience the greatest joy you can. Guys, failure is an opportunity. Pain is an opportunity. Messes are opportunities. Mistakes are opportunities. I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what the challenge or the struggle is that you have, but I want to tell you a few things. Number one, you are not alone. You are not the first person to go through this. Number two, you can endure. You can come out better, stronger, and more powerful than before. Number three, do not, do not allow this to make you bitter or resentful or get a hard heart because that is not going to produce what we are talking about. And yes, it's easy to be bitter. It's easy to just hate and reject and abandon and do those unhealthy things. But guys, you're better than that. And I just, I want to encourage you today, push through the hard stuff, find the gold in the hard things and know that everyone is going through something. And yes, there might be seasons, short little seasons where it feels like, oh my gosh, I can breathe. My finances are good. I We had a good week with the kids and, and you know, nothing Nothing crazy nothing was burning up at the business and you know like it was a good day <laughs> so you enjoy that day but in life especially when you are leading against resistance you're pioneering things you are pressing for something you are speaking truth because nowadays Lord knows that it takes more courage and more bravery to speak your truth and your opinion than ever before because there's always gonna be someone that disagrees, there's gonna be someone that hates on it, there's gonna be someone that misinterprets it, that twists it, so you're taking a risk. This is risky and that's okay because it is worth it to speak truth, to speak hope, to speak encouragement, and to speak life into people. And you know what, you guys, you gotta know what voice to listen to. You have to know and ask when you hear negativity, when you hear people say things like, who are you? Like, what weight do you hold in my life? Oh, none? Okay, well, that's how much your opinion matters. <laughs> like, seriously, it's that simple. And yeah, there can be things that hurt. We gotta learn to shake them off, to push past it. But guys, when we're going through hard times, it is imperative that you meditate on the good. It is imperative that you have people walking with you through things. Now, they're not going to fix it for you, but you need to have people come alongside of you in your pain, in your struggle, in your loneliness and say, hey, would you walk through this with me? Would you encourage me? Would you check on me? They're not going to fix it because that's a whole nother thing. Victims do that. Victims want people to fix it. Victims want to talk about their problems and talk about their pain, but they don't want to do anything about it. And so we are, no, I have boundaries with victim mentalities. And so, but we need to walk through it with people. We need to try something different. Guys, if something isn't working, try something new. Read a different book. Pick up the Passion Translation. Read James. Listen to a podcast, you know, get out, do something, do something creative, connect with people. Don't wallow in your pain, but there's a time to grieve. We need to respect a grieving process and grieving isn't just when a person you love, a person you care about dies. You can grieve a dream. You can grieve what you thought your kids were going to be or do. You can grieve what you thought your marriage was supposed to be. You can grieve the old you. There, there's so many layers and levels to grieving, but guys, you got to take time to do that. Take time to feel it and then to heal it. And I've talked about that on my podcast on how we heal hurts. I would highly recommend listening to that episode. You know, how do we take that pain and transform it into power 
and transform it into purpose. It takes intention, it takes community, it takes practice. You guys might be listening to this and thinking, how do you do that? Like, I don't even think I can. I just wanna like punch somebody. <laughs> like, I get it. We've all been there. But there is a season to walk through things with new grace, with new wisdom, with new insight like you never had before. And I want you guys to feel inspired and motivated to not just go, yes, mm, that was so good, like to actually take action. So write down in the midst of your struggle, what is one good thing? What is one good thing that's come out of your pain? What is one thing that you have learned through this trial, through this tribulation, through the testing? What have you learned? What has it taught you? And then take those things and ask yourself, how do I then build upon that? How do I grow through this pain? And ask yourself who? Who do I need to connect with? Maybe this is a big thing. Maybe you're battling addiction and there is a ton of resources out there and even shout out um, Sober Guy Podcast. He has awesome resources and, and great episodes, so check him out. But if you're battling something, you're gonna need people to fight with you and to fight for you. There's gonna be days that we just feel like we can't. But I wanna remind us that if we can look at our pain and we can see that we can have power stirred up to endure. There is endurance, there is grace, there is motivation, even in the midst of what's hard. You guys, I'm telling you, I've recorded a lot of podcasts and a lot of videos in the middle of pain. And there's been that voice that's like, oh, well, what are you talking about? Look what's going on in your life. And you know what? I just shut that thing down and I'm like, I'm gonna inspire even more people. I'm gonna speak this and preach this through my pain, through my season, through whatever I'm going through, through what isn't going the way that I thought it would go. So you don't have to have it all together to step out. You don't have to have all the answers to do the next thing, you guys. So know that your pain has purpose. Know that your hurts can be healed. You can do this and know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance and produces a strength so that you can endure. You are not alone. You are going to get through this. And yes, I talk a lot about not quitting, but this is just really today. I feel like even if it's for one person to know that there is pain in that, there is, there is purpose in that pain, that there is a strength that there is a perseverance that's gonna come out, that there is a story that needs to be told. If you allow it, because it is a choice, you can, you can swing one way and get bitter and be angry and be hateful and nasty, or you can allow it to do something in you and you can help other people. You can teach people from your process. And it starts with you. Find what it's produced in you. What has it taught you? And if you have failed and you've thought, oh gosh, I went the totally wrong way. It hasn't taught me crap. <laughs> like, it's not too late. Go back. Go back. Find the lesson. Find the wisdom. Find the endurance. Find the message in the mess. All right, guys, maybe you know somebody that is going through something and they've lost sight of this. Please share this with them. Maybe you've gone th through something. Tell me what you're thankful for. Tell me, you know, we can look back. I know when we're in it, it's like, I don't even care. But years later, you can go, man, I am thankful that door closed. I am thankful that didn't work out. I am thankful I went through that because I learned this about myself and I was able to change this about the way I do things. Drop it in the comments, share it, spread it. We want to inspire more people. We want to motivate more people. We want to get this message out and that's going to take you taking three seconds to hit a share button. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for being part of this community. I value and appreciate that you would choose to take time to listen to this, to watch this, to share this. It means the world to me. All right, have a good day.